Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine derivative function values on the TI-89 graphing calculator. Looking at the first example, we're given f of x equals 1 half x squared plus 5x minus 4, and we're asked to determine f prime of 3 and f prime of 4. We'll be determining these derivative function values using the derivative function on the graphing calculator. So once we have the calculator on, let's go ahead and clean up the screen by selecting new problem from the cleanup menu. So we'll press F6 by pressing second F1, option two for new problem, and enter. And now we'll use the differentiate function under the calculus menu by pressing F3. So we'll press F3, notice how the first option is differentiate. So we can either press enter or one, let's go ahead and press one. Now we enter the function, which is one divided by two x raised to the power of two plus five x minus four. And then we enter a comma, the variable x, close parenthesis. If we press enter now, we would get the derivative function f prime of x. Let's go ahead and do that. So if we press enter, we now know f prime of x equals x plus five. And we could easily determine f prime of three and f prime of four by performing substitution. But we can also determine these derivative function values by editing our previous entry. If we press the right arrow, then the vertical bar, if we enter x equals three, the calculator will give us the value of f prime of three. So once we enter the vertical bar, we just enter x equals three and enter. And now we know f prime of three is equal to eight. Remember, this would be the slope of the tangent line at x equals three. And now to determine the derivative function value of prime of four, we just need to change this three to a four. So we can press the right arrow, back arrow, four, enter. And we know f prime of four is equal to nine. Looking at our second example, we have g of x equals two secant x. We're asked to find g prime of pi over three and g prime of zero. Because we have a trig function here, and this angle is in radians, we wanna make sure the calculator is in radian mode as well as auto or exact mode. So looking here at the bottom of the screen, this RID means radians, and this exact means we're in exact mode. So we are in the correct mode, but for review to change the mode, we'd press the mode key. Notice the fourth row says radian. If it didn't, we'd arrow down to the fourth row, press the right arrow, highlight radian, press enter, and then enter again. To change to exact mode or automatic mode, we'd press mode, F2 for page two, and then down toward the bottom, notice how it says exact here. If it didn't, we'd press the right arrow, select auto or exact, press enter, and then enter again. And now we'll select the differentiate function by pressing F3, number one. To enter the function g of x equals two secant x, there's no secant button. We need to recognize that secant x equals one divided by cosine x, and therefore we'd enter g of x as two divided by, second z brings up cosine, x close parenthesis, comma x close parenthesis. Again, if we press enter now, we would get g prime of x. Let's go ahead and do that. Notice this is g prime of x in terms of sines and cosines. This is also equal to two secant x tangent x. And now to find g prime of pi over three, we would press the right arrow, the vertical bar, and then x equals pi divided by three. So x equals pi is second, then the exponent key, divided by three and enter. So g prime of pi over three equals four square root three. And now to find g prime of zero, we need to change the pi over three to zero. So we can press the right arrow, back arrow or backspace, zero, and then enter. G prime of zero equals zero. I hope you found this helpful.